Hi, it's Kevin Thomas again, back with day 21 of the At Home Film Festival. This week, since we're still stuck here, I'm doing a different theme this week. Every movie will be from an actor who may have won Oscars, may top at the box office, but then they made a film no one saw. So today we're saluting Barbara Streisand. See, here's a special tie. I'm, I actually made this. My name is there in the corner um, for when I went to her final concert, which actually turned out not to be. But I had to pick between three movies for Barbara. Um, first, there was All Night Long, which came out in 1981. The only movie that, or the first movie that she did not have top billing, she actually played a supporting role as a favor to her manager. For that little role though, she got paid uh, $4 million. And at the box office, the movie made $4 million. So that was not a hit. But it's still kind of fun. Barbara's very interesting. She's got a good relationship with Gene Hackman and Dennis Quaid. And so one day you should seek that out, but you're not gonna be able to find it to download right now, but you could order the Blu-ray coming out in May. But then there's this gem. Oh, on a clear day, you could see forever. I picked my favorite scene because I love this movie and Barbara is super sexy in this, in this G-rated movie. I don't know when G can have cleavage, but they let it happen. This movie was supposed to have this roadshow production because it's supposed to be a big film directed by Vincent Minnelli with Barbara, small role by Jack Nicholson. It did okay at the box office. It made $14 million, but that really wasn't a lot. So that movie's also not the choice for today. Today's movie is Up the Sandbox. You're saying, what? I never heard of that. <laughs> That's right. Up the Sandbox came out in 1972, the same year as What's Up Doc. But no one went. It came around Christmas time. It made like three and a half million dollars. And Barbara got so much acclaim for her role. I, I asked the Barbara Streisand fan group on Facebook if they could help me find this fact in writing, which we couldn't. But I swear I remember her being a nominee for Best Actress of the New York Times um, Film Critics Awards. Maybe it was just Pauline Kael. But I know Barbara got a lot of praise for this movie. She plays sort of a frumpy housewife. Not a lot going on, just raising her children, supporting her husband, who's all this big professor. But Barbara escapes mentally because she has like a Walter Mitty life. So she learns secrets about Fidel Castro. She does something to her mother that many people with mother problems try to do. This movie is super fun, also dramatic, empowers women. Barbara makes some great speeches. She plays against her normal type, so you really should look for her up the sandbox. You can download it on many devices. It's just a couple of dollars, but it's worth checking out. Anyway, I wonder who we're going to do tomorrow. But in the meantime, let's watch Barbara today and let's enjoy these things together at home.